having a conversation about insurance may not be the most enjoyable thing to do, but it is unquestionably essential. First, let's define insurance. Insurance is a tool that is used in risk management. By purchasing insurance, you are providing yourself with protection against a sudden loss of financial resources. In the event that anything unfortunate occurs to you, the insurance company will compensate either you or another person of your choosing. Hello everyone and welcome to Wealthy Wisdom. In this video, we're going to talk about insurance explained for dummies. How does it work? If you are new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. It's an annoying obligation that we all pay for in order to avoid falling severely into debt if our house burns down. We have a car accident or anything terrible happens. We can keep our peace of mind by obtaining insurance since it ensures that even if anything bad happens, someone else will pay the cost of repairing it. Although this may seem weird to a layman, in other words, if you pay $250 per month for home insurance and your house burns down after just 6 months, the insurance company will buy you a new house. Despite the fact that the home was presumably worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, you would have only paid them $1,500. Why would they behave in this manner? That is where insurance shines. This is insurance explained for dummies. In general, the basic concept of insurance is that one party, the insurer, offers a guarantee for a risk that may or may not materialize. In the third party, the insured pays the insurer in exchange for protection against that risk. When a large number of people accept the same risk, the possibility that the threat will materialize is dispersed among a large number of people and stays about the same. Insurance companies make money by estimating how much money they need to collect in order to break even on a certain risk with a given probability. The outcome of such a calculation determines how much each covered party pays each month. Although the math is typically simple, insurance companies utilize pretty complicated models to account for everything. How does an insurance firm function? Different insurance firms provide various types of insurance. The majority of insurance companies will specialize in one kind of insurance. This is done so that each firm may develop a complex model that will enable them to make money and generate profit. If you insure those properties with the idea that 1 in 100 would burn down each year, but the actual rate was 5 in 100, you'd run out of money rapidly. You would very certainly undercharge for everyone's insurance, leaving you liable for the four extra dwellings. The majority of people throughout the globe have these vital insurance plans, some of which are legally mandated to have, such as car insurance, and there are several insurance companies ranging from auto to health to life to homeowners. You may be wondering why you wouldn't just want to save your money each month and put it into a bank account. Even if nothing bad happens, you will have a lot more money this way. While this may be true, you are now the one at risk. If you have $250 of in home insurance every month for a year, you'll have an extra $3,000 at the end of the year. However, if your house burns down next year, you'll be on the hook for a couple hundred thousand dollars in repairs. If you're willing to accept that type of risk, it's probably not true. As a result, getting insurance is often a prudent move. It shifts all of your financial, emotional, and risk burdens to a much larger business that can afford it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's continue to discuss insurance explained for dummies. When you consider insurance to be nothing more than a way of paying a corporation to take on your risk, you can see how insurance might theoretically be given for almost everything. 
This is because insurance is just a method of compensating a company for taking on your risk. Are you concerned that your toaster may overheat one of your raisins in a cinnamon raisin bagel, causing it to spontaneously combust and ruin your whole cupboard full of stacked lucky charms and baked beans? Although it is a very restricted niche, it is possible to get insurance that just covers that. In a similar vein, if you're really gorgeous, you may be concerned that if you have even one fall, you will scratch your face, become less appealing, and eventually end up miserable because no one will like you anymore. You may, of course, protect yourself from financial damage if this happens by getting insurance. This is not far from the truth. Celebrities often cover up some parts of their bodies due to the financial value of their image. However, there are a few more jigsaw pieces remaining. So let's talk about reinsurance and insurance claims. What exactly is reinsurance? When insurance firms want coverage for their own insurance policies, they buy reinsurance. It's not a joke. People, if an insurance company thinks that it is overexposed to house fire insurance and a hot summer is on the horizon, it may elect to take out reinsurance policies on its insurance contracts to protect against big losses. If all of its home catch fire owing to global warming and other reasons, the reinsurance firm then assumes the whole risk. It is critical to consider this. When a hurricane hits Florida and damages all of the vehicles that an insurance company has insured, they may be saddled with more compensation responsibilities than they can manage. They didn't have any more money, so no one would pay for their destroyed automobile when they run out. Reinsurance is a critical component of an insurance company's capacity to generate revenue and maintain financial stability in order to pay out claims to policyholders when they occur. What are the claims? However, insurance firms do not just pay out claims. If you have car insurance and furnish them with a wrecked vehicle, the insurance company will investigate to ensure you did not damage it on purpose to collect the claim. If they uncover this, it is considered fraud, and you might face jail time for taking insurance claims. In truth, it happens rather often when times are rough. Many people see it as a chance to either gain a significant cash windfall or avoid an excessive car or house mortgage. Automobile insurance firms use the most highly skilled investigators available within the sector so that they do not have to face potential claims on inaccurate information. You are probably able to understand how successful the insurance industry can be now that you are aware that it is a major industry. Provided that you use the appropriate models, take the appropriate types of risk, and have knowledgeable investigators to ensure that you are not exploited in any way. On the other hand, insurance might help you save a significant amount of money in the event that the worst case scenario occurs and you end up needing it. The purchase of insurance is often a transaction that results in favorable outcomes for all parties involved. Customers feel less nervous as a direct result, and businesses gain greatly from this development. In essence, this is insurance explained for dummies. We've reached the end of another video and thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you like this video, do give us a like. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below. Thank you and goodbye!